Hello everyone, you are welcome to Delare Studios. Our today's topic will be based on building a dynamic UI with fragments. We'll be talking about fragments today, how to create fragments, how to build a flexible UI, and probably if time permits, we'll talk about how to communicate with other fragments. Creating a fragment, you can think of a fragment as a modular section of an activity which has its own life cycle. It receives its own input in bits and which you can add or remove while the activity is running sort of like a sub activity that you can reuse in different activities uh this lesson we will like we will extend the fragment class using the support library so your app remains compatible with devices running system versions as low as android 1.6 so we're going to begin this lesson by setting up your android project to use the support library if you have not used the support library before you set up projects to use the v4 library by the following separate library set up documents no. so first of all we we'll create a fragment class to create a fragment class you need to extend the fragment class now let's go to the article fragments so you need to extend the fragment class then override key life cycle you override key life cycle method to insert your app logic similar to the way you would with an activity class one difference you now when you're creating a fragment is that you must use the onCreate view, the onCreate view callback to define the layout. This defines the layout, and this is the only callback you need in order to get a fragment running. You know, this is a simple fragment here on your screen. You know, when you do, you do your onCreate layout, the you, s you get to set up the inflator and the container as well. Just like in an activity, a fragment should implement other life cycle. Definitely. Callback does allow you to manage its state as it is added or removed from the activity and its activity transitions between its life cycle states. For instance, when the activity is on pause, you know it is on start. If it's on if we, if, if the activity is on pause method, it's called. Any fragment in that activity also receive a call to on pause method. No more information about the life cycle, you can get it fine. So, this is just the first stage, which is the uncreate view, which we've talked about. No, now we would like to add a fragment to an activity using XML. So, this actually boils us down to the news activities. XML, this is the design view, we'll talk about the text view. So, why fragments are reusable? modular ui components each instance of a fragment class must be associated with a parent fragment activity definitely it must be associated with a parent fragment activity so we should be talking about the fragment okay the rest the layout and the news article okay that's fine so yes and no okay okay so fragment activity is a special activity provided in the support library to handle fragments on system versions older than api 11 if the lowest system version you support is api 11 or higher fine this this actually works out well so this is just a layout that is just showing the fragment XML. So you can actually add fragments from here, but basically we're going to add it on using the Java. So you can apply your layout using you get to your main activity, you extend fragment activity, your own create burn do self instance. You got the super class, you uncreate. So you, you specify the layout, which is the news article, which is what I showed earlier. This is just how to attach your fragment XML to your layout. So if you're using the V7 app compact library, your activity should instead extend action by activity. So if you're using this kind of library, you should extend the action by activity, which is a subclass of fragment activity. So when you add a fragment to an activity layer by defining the fragment in the layout XML file, you cannot remove the fragment at runtime. Yes, 
you know you can add at runtime and as well as you can add with you can add using the XML. If you plan to swap your fra your fragment in in and out during user interaction, you must add a fragment to the activity when the activity first starts. You know, so let's boil down to how you actually build a flexible UI. When design your 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 application to support a wide range of screen sizes, you can reduce your fragments in different layout configurations to optimize the user experience based on the available screen space. You know, for example, if you have an answer a answer device, it might be appropriate. It might be it might be appropriate to display just one fragment at a time for a single pane user interface. Conversely, you you may want to set fragments side by side on a tablet which has a wider screen size to display more information to the user. So you can add a fragment to an activity at run time. So that boils down still to our news dot article XML which has an Android layout with with match parent and the height with and then I did basically with a fragment container. So inside your activity call now you move to your activity, your main activity. You want to add it you want to add our fragment on runtime. You call the get support fragment manager. The get support fragment manager method. So to get your fragment manager using the support library APIs, then call begin transaction. You know, this is what you call. You call the begin transaction method to create a fragment transaction. And you call the add, which is this, a begin transaction method, and the add to add a fragment you can perform a multiple fragment transaction for the activity using the same fragment transaction when you're ready to make the changes you must call a commit you know the, the id the fragment container which is the id in the eczema and you, you you put the commit on it this actually makes it work fine so before the fragment has been added to the fragment layout container at runtime instead of defining it in the activity layout with a fragment element the activity can remove the fragment and replace it with a different one. So definitely you can replace one flag fragment with another. So this actually boils down to our article fragment, which is a method, an article selected. You're trying to the user select the headline of an article from the headlines fragment and capture the article fragment from the activity layout. Now you're trying to replace one fragment with another. So that boils down to this. So the add to back stack. You the the add to back stack method takes an optional string parameter that specifies a unique name for the transaction. The name isn't needed unless you plan to perform advanced fragment operations using the fragment manager calling the back stack entry. So this is just the physical ways of actually adding fragments to your activity and fragments can, can be used to actually basically is used you know in the same activity you can have multiple views probably different different layouts different layouts in the same activity and it's well fitted when you're using a wider screen probably a tablet and whatsoever I have the source code wrapped right in in my github account you can check out on it and get more on it. You can use it for your project and you can even work on it. The GitHub account is actually showed on your screen right now. You can get the source code from there. You download it and you can work on it. I have everything right on site. The headlines fragment, the Ipsum, you know, that's just the text, the text you know, for one article to the other. This is just what that signifies. So we actually use our main activity, which is where everything, every 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 activity talks and this works on fine so i would like to build this for our viewers to see how it works and to have a flow of what is actually happening
fine this is a fragment so we have the article one with these write-ups go back we have the article two with the other write-ups you can see just like two activities working on one activity like it's a fragment of a thing so if this should be on a big screen probably on a tablet the articles will be written by the left and the fragment shows by the by the right so it's like dividing our main screen for different activities to flow on just one view that's just what the fragment is i hope you enjoy this tutorial and you can still get the full source code from my github account which is showed right on your screen thank you for listening